South Korea's state-run economic institute highlighted the need for the government to consider slowing down when it comes to raising the minimum wage. The KDI warns if the current pace continues, it could do more harm than good to the labor market. Che Shiyang zooms in on the possible side effects. The Korea Development Institute said the increases in the minimum wage in 2019 and 2020 will result in job losses. The think tank projects that a 15 percent wage increase each year in 2019 and 2020 will lead to a drop in employment of nearly 100,000 jobs in 2019 and 140,000 jobs in 2020. The estimate is based on a case in Hungary where the minimum wage was increased by 60 percent between 2000 and 2004. It also assumes that there is no government support for small businesses hit hardest by the minimum wage hike. The institute also highlighted how France in 2005 stopped raising its minimum wage once it reached 60 percent of the median wage due to the increased difficulty that low-wage earners had in finding employment. Korea's minimum wage in 2018 is already 55 percent of the median wage. Recently, the Blue House said that 90 percent of the effects of the minimum wage increases are positive. The top office made that calculation based on individual income rather than household income and excluding the unemployed and self-employed from statistics. The Korea Development Institute also acknowledged that the minimum wage increase has so far had few side effects. However, it warns that the government should monitor the effects of the minimum wage increase closely over the coming years. Choi Arirang News.